Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to talk about data normalization in Microsoft Access 2016. Now, data normalization is a very complicated and a huge topic. But if I like to put it in simple term, it says it is the process of organizing the data in a table in such a way that the result we yield using this data will be always crisp and accurate. Now, this also includes of creating and creating tables and establishing a relationship between them in such a way that it will help me to protect my data and it will make my database more flexible so that we eliminate the redundancy and the inconsistent dependency of my results. Now, let's take for an example that I have a customer database. Now, also I have one more database which includes of the orders they have placed. I cannot put both the data in the same table because while creating a result like uh, if I create a report or I, if I create a form, it will give me an complicated results and it will not give me the desired result which I want to yield. So database normalization is a process of uh, sorting the data in two different tables and creating a relationship between them so that the result that we yield out of it will be crisp and accurate. We will get a better understanding of how we normalize a data in a table in our practical approach. Now before I get started off, let me tell you about data normalization. Data normalization, to be honest, it's a very big topic and it's very complicated. But I'm trying to explain you this in a very simplest manner as I can. Alright, so as you can see on my screen, I have this table that is a TSR table in which I have the sales ID, the user ID, the rest of the details, the item name, the cost, quantity and the rest of the details. As you can see, uh, the sales ID is uh, the primary key, so it has some unique values, but the rest of the field, if you can see, there are some continuous repetition. As you can see, the user ID is being repeated. I have the item number which are repeated, the item name is also repeated and if you can see the username and age is also repeated. So what are, we are trying to do out here, we are trying to simplify this data so that we can have a better understanding of this. Alright, so before I get started, uh, let's try to normalize this data. So how it is done, it's quite simple. So what I'll do, I will try to transfer these duplicate copies into a new table so that I have a simplified data. So what will I do, I'll go to the create tab and I'll create a new table design. Uh, now in this new table design, first what I'll do, I will first select the user, the user ID, the username and the age of that particular user. I will sort it out in one table. So let's give it a name. Let's say this will be the user ID. Right. Uh, let's take this as a number. I'll select this as a number. Then I want the user name. So I'll make sure that uh, I use the same method, right? The same name, right? The username. And I'll, this will be again, let's say a short text and the user age. I'll simply write the age, right? As you can see out here, the age. So I'll simply type the age and this will be the number. So I have the design ready. Let's go to the database form. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, it is firstly asking me, do you have to save this table? Yes, I will save this table as user as it is giving me all the information about the user. So I simply hit OK. Now it's saying the primary key. So OK. It has defined a primary key as well, the ID. So it has defined the primary key, which I do not want. So I'll go again to the design view, right? I do not want this to be a primary key. I would delete this row, okay, and I will assign user ID as my primary key. So that's so fine, it's good. So I'll again go to the data sheet view. Yes, you want to save these changes, the user ID. So the user ID out here for this is, uh, user ID is uh, 101 for Shane. So I'll type here as 101 and this will be for Shane, his age is 25. That's right, so I'm going to type this as 25. My second user is, 102 and that is for Nathan and he's 40 so I'll just simply type it 102 and I have Nathan out here and his age is 40 let me check cross check yes it's perfect all right so I'll simply save this table now I have my user table out here so the next thing which I'll be needing is the uh, delete this particular table because I won't be needing this table anymore so I say delete I have got the age as well I'll delete this field as well and I have the user ID as well I simply 
select the delete button and I simply select yes. So now I would like to uh, sort out the item right the item range so I'll sort out the item number item name and the cost in a new table altogether so again I'll go to the create tab say table design it will be for item number so item number will be the first one item number or as it says it's item n0 so I'll simply type n0 that's it perfect it has to be a number I'll select this as a primary key then next thing I want is the item name and the item cost so I'll type the item name that will be a short text and the item cost it will be this time it will be currency as it's defining the cost of it so basically I'll take this as a currency so let's go ahead and save this table and I will save this as item because it is giving me the item details so I'll simply select OK so this is how I sort out the data so let me go ahead and delete this as I do not require this table in my DSR table because I have sorted it out and I simply select the delete button so now out here I have sorted out so basically this is the sales ID and this is the quantity and I have sorted out the data uh, let me sh go ahead and insert the data as well I haven't delete uh, selected the data so I, I want to get it back so let's go and get the item number out here so it was 901 and the item name was cookies that's right and it was for three dollars perfect and it was 902 and it was for pi and it was for 1.5 that's right so basically I have sorted out the data I have entered the data in the data sheet form right I have all the details uh, which I required and I won't be needing this table so this is giving me a much more simplified version and I have normalized this data using by creating a different table in each sheet in each form I'm sorry in each table and I have sorted out the data so this is what data normalization talks about it says how you can normalize your data how you can simplify your data so that it will be for better understanding right there's no duplicates I'll be having unique values every time there'll be no duplicates they will be always unique and we can use the table relationship and connect these table and I will be having a normalized data so this is what data normalization talks about